right after you finish turning in your gas analyzers and escape from Tarkov, you receive a quest requiring four morphine injectors. These morphine injectors are very, very common. However, they're very small, they're very expensive, and they're needed very early on in the quest line. So a lot of players accidentally sell them just due to seeing how much they're worth or don't see them or don't pick them up because of how early it is in the quest line. They don't realize they need them that quickly. There are technically two quests that require four morphine injectors. However, there's only one that is extremely early in the quest line. The other one is much later on. So you can collect those a lot easier as you do normal raids throughout your wipe. However, the first four can be challenging to collect in the time frame that you're given uh, with the tasks that are available before it. You should not need to focus on collecting all eight. As mentioned before, you can get all of those whenever you want, but the first four you really do need to prioritize and especially because it's so early on in the quest line. New players may commonly walk past them while collecting their Saluas, not even realizing that they're needed for a quest only a few tasks later. I will be referencing some numbers here in the video. These are all based off of the numbers that I received after looting 1,000 of every container. Similar to Salua's, however, these are going to be much more popular finding them in loose med spawns rather than finding them in containers. So we will be going over the containers just because it's always important to hit those numbers so that you know which containers you need to be looting when looking for them. But most of the loose med spawns are going to be your best opportunity to get your morphine. So make sure that you're checking the med spawns that we mentioned in the video. Let's talk about the best way to find your four morphines for the painkiller task in Escape from Tarkov. Welcome to another wipe guide for Escape from Tarkov. We're going to be going over morphines, what you need to do to collect them, and what we need to do to get the four that are going to be required very early on. There's a total of eight that you need, so if you find more than four, go ahead and pick them up and hold on to them. But you really only need to prioritize getting four, as the other eight are way later on in the quest line. A lot of players don't even get that far into the quest line. So make sure you're prioritizing getting these first four so that you can progress and actually even have the opportunity of gathering the later eight that you need. To right after you complete their tasks for gas analyzers titled sanitary standards part one and two you will be given a new task by the name of painkillers just like a lot of her early game tasks you have to basically collect a few different items and those items in this case are morphine injectors there are no other subtasks in this one only collect the items so you can collect these at any point just got to make sure that they are found in raid so you can collect these in your first raid or your fifth raid regardless of when you collect them you can turn them in for the task so it's important to start collecting these as early as possible while getting your other items so that you have them ready when you reach this task and aren't gay kept from later tasks because you're looking for morphines just like saluas there are a ton of available places to check and a lot of them are going to be the same places that we reference most of them are going to be your loose loot spawns just because morphine is one of the most common items that spawn on those loose loot spawns however we do need to reference the containers only because they have a really really good chance to drop the morphine injector so if you're farming your saluas like this you probably don't even have to farm morphines any other way but just in case you get some really good luck with Saluas or really bad luck with Morphines, we'll make sure that we go over some of the other options as well, just so that we're not leaving anything out on the table. Just like Saluas, the most obvious and primary container that you have to address is going to be the medical supply crates. They're those big crates that spawn different things. Um, some of them are technical, some medical, some ration. So the medical ones are going to be the ones that you want to hit. You'll know that by when you open them inside of it in the top right, it'll actually say medical supply crate. So these have about a 9.5% chance of dropping morphines. So if you farmed your Saluas this way, you'll probably be finding your morphines while you do that as they have a slightly higher chance of dropping than the Saluas. In addition to the medical supply crates, there are a collection of these med bags that you can find all across Tarkov. So you'll want to make sure that you're looting those as well. They have a pretty good chance to spawn morphines. I have not tested these, but I have noticed that morphines are one of the things that spawn in them more common than almost anything else. Other than like the common bandages and splints, morphines are one of the top items that spawn in these. We will be addressing these map by map, just like we did in the Salua videos. There are probably only three maps that you'll be going to this early on in the game. The first two maps that we're going to be addressing are going to be Customs and Woods, as these are most commonly the two maps that people take their first raids to. But we'll also be referencing Reserve, just because, like I've mentioned in every other one of these videos, 
reserve is one of the best maps to go when collecting task items so if you've reached that task you don't have other tasks that you need to complete and you just need to collect that item reserve is the place to go there's so many different options so many different routes that you can hit to collect all of your task items if you're struggling to find specific items and have now reached that task it's not a bad idea to make sure that you're taking your pmc or your scav to reserve and hitting all of the places that you can find those task items we'll be addressing all of those at the end of this video as well the first map we'll be addressing here because i'm assuming that this is going to be the map that you're on when you receive this task and that's maybe why you're looking for morphines is going to be customs many of these will be similar to the salua video so if you've already seen that video, you can kind of skip over this portion of it, but I seem to find morphines much more commonly in all of these places than I do the Saluas. So if you've been hitting those spots, you've probably already been finding some morphines. You're probably going to want to be hitting the same spots. The first places to mention are the medical crates. There are two available on this map. Both of them are in the large outpost on what a lot of people, if you're using the common maps that are available online, consider the south part of the map. One of them is inside on the first floor on the side that faces the medical building. If you go in on the left side there, in the back left corner there, there's a room with a bunch of loose med spawns. There's a medical supply crate in there and a med bag as well that is available. In the same building, in the in the exact same outpost, if you go up to the second floor, also on the side that faces the medical building, is another medical supply crate you can loot this one check there for morphines as well um this is definitely a great place to check because these medical supply crates as mentioned before have a very high chance the medical building just across from the outpost is the next best place to check on customs so this is going to be a very very contested area so when going here expect to get into a fight to mention the places that these spawn very commonly if you go inside the first floor on the floor there is a bunch of loose med spawns there's a med bag close by on like a box if you check here there's a lot of times some morphines that spawn there if you go up to the second floor in the room that faces the outpost that we just came from that has all of like the green glass facing it along the external of this room there are a bunch of shelves you want to check those shelves lots of loose med spawns there as well on the far end of the same hallway uh, near the door that goes out to the metal stairs there's a small room there lots of loose med spawns on the shelves there as well so you want to make sure that you're looting all of that morphine's also very common here the final thing to mention on customs are the collection of med bags across the map so we'll be addressing each one of them with a quick little video of where each one of them is so the first one is going to be in the trunk of a car in the trailer park it's very near the trailer park spawn or extraction so you can just go right from there the next one is going to be in the big blue building that is north of big red this is going to be the side that is nearest the road that goes to the main bridge the next one is going to be behind old gas station this is near the stash that's back there and also near what a lot of people reference as the giving tree there's one in the basement of warehouse four there's like a little metal wall thing that's kind of sticking up there's a light beside it on the ground there's a med bag right there available for you the next one is in the only building that's up to substations so you're up there at the large power line that has a bunch of boxes around there's one building inside that building there is a med bag for you available right there in the supply closet of the gas station if, if you're lucky enough to get the key for this closet in the gas station there are two med bags in there which are a great place to find the morphines as well the final place that i want to mention on customs that quite often spawns morphines that has a med bag in it is going to be the second floor of the building that we call repair one of the rooms on the second floor has a green screen in it inside of this room there's like a back room at the very back of that room on the bottom shelf near the tools there's a med bag right there that is available for you the next map to address is woods i'm addressing this one only because uh one of your first quests is to find jaeger and so if you're on woods you might be hitting that if you're watching this before the wipe you might be looking for your morphines while trying to get your jaeger task done there's a medical outpost that is on the eastern side of the map it's actually very close to a few different spawns it is very very contested early wipe so you definitely want to be careful with going there uh, be aware make sure that you're getting out of there as quickly as possible once you loot everything this entire camp has meds scattered across it there's a few on some tables under a tent there's a medical supply crate in a back corner that's very clearly a medical area there's some shelving units in that medical area lots of different spawns for meds there as well you can find your morphines you can find your saluas as well here this is a great place to check in addition to this on this map you have the usec camp and then the convoy that you have to find for prapper 
The convoy has a few loose med spawns just on the ground around the dead bodies. And the USAC camp, in addition, also has some loose med spawns around there. Those are not worth crossing the map to go check, uh, like the outpost is. But if you spawn close to them, or if you're just on that side of the map, it might be worth going up there and checking really quickly while you're en route to your extraction. The final map, and my personal recommendation, like I said, if you are struggling to find these, is going to be reserve. The first thing we want to reference are the medical supply crate locations on this map due to their high drop rate for the more Morphines. The medical supply crates, you're going to have two on the helicopter side of the map. So one of them is going to be near the helicopter in the courtyard area. One of them is going to be almost directly underneath it in the bunker that connects all these buildings together. In the center area, the very middle supply crate is a medical crate. So check that one as well. If for whatever reason you're lucky enough to get the RBPSP or RBPSV keys, you can get the PSV1, PSV2, or the PSP1, PSV2. Any of those keys, you'll want to go to the opposite side of the map near the K buildings. There's a bunker there that you can extract that. If you go down into the bottom of the bunker, there are four gated areas. Areas. In those gated areas are multiple supply crates. Uh, there are medicals, at least one in each of these gated areas, and I believe two of them have two medical supply crates. So this is a great way to find your morphines as well. Just like Salua's though, there are a lot of places on reserve that spawn meds that aren't necessarily where the medical supply crates are. So the first one that I like to mention is the White Bishop building. This is going to be probably the most contested on the map because it is mainly used as a meds building. So when you go here there's a lot of meds on the first floor there's one side that's like a hallway one side that's like a couple open rooms the hallway side is going to be the side that has most of the meds on it there are i think five rooms on this side that spawn meds on the second floor you have three rooms that spawn meds that are open and two rooms that are locked that spawn meds. If you are able to get the RBKSM key or the RBSMP key, either of these unlock those two locked rooms, they very commonly spawn morphines in them as well. On the bottom floor of this building, there is one area that is very clearly a medical room. This room has a med bag in it. In addition to that, there are loose med spawns all over the floor, all over the shelves as well. So check here for your morphines. Now to address the less visited areas that might be worth checking on your scav or later in your PMC runs if you don't get a good spawn. The first one is going to be the Black Bishop building. This is the building that a lot of people call school or that a lot of people go to for the drop down room. If you know where the drop down room is, if you go to the door that is locked, that is on the outside of the drop down room. If you go to the room to the left of that, there is a med bag there facing the helicopter. And then there's also a shelving unit on the wall opposite the helicopter and there are plenty of med spawns there as well in the black pawn building uh right next to the black bishop building there is a black pawn building on the second floor there there is almost like a medical wing that is kind of divided off from everything else with tarp and sandbags behind this there's shelving units there's beds on all of the beds on all the shelving units there are loose med spawns there's also a med bag back here as well plenty of morphines to be found here i find them all the time here very good spot to check that a lot of people don't check. In the King building, if you are near the second floor gym, uh, you can go outside of the second floor gym and there is a little office with a med bag on the chair. There are loose med spawns on the shelves behind it as well. This is on the Black Knight side of King and is near the exit towards Black Knight. The next building is the White Knight building. So this is almost on the opposite side of the map from all the others that we've talked about. It is near the large garages where there are a few tanks, lots of trucks and things like that. So in the alleyway between the garage and the White Knight building, if you look in the window, you can actually crawl up through the window on a little piece of wood. On the table here and on the shelves here, there are plenty of med spawns there. If you go into the hallway, there is a table with a stretcher on it. This table uh, spawns meds as well. Not a bad place. Right across from this stretcher is a small room. On these little pallets there, there are also some med spawns as well. Well, found a lot of morphines there in addition to the ones that I find on the stretcher. You can craft morphines. However, the, this is going to be something that you're going to want to be doing only if you're struggling to find them. First off, you're going to have to collect a pile of meds and a disposable syringe to get your med station to level one. In addition to that, you're going to have to get your med station to level two. The likelihood of that happening before you get this quest is pretty low unless you're moving a little bit slower, which is fine, but the likelihood is pretty low. You'll need a couple of things for med station two. The first is going to be three saline solutions, which is going to be the NACL, two medical blood sets, five Esmark tourniquets, 150,000 rubles, level two therapist, level two health, and level one generator. 
So a lot of these things you may already have. However, you will at least require level 13 to get to level two therapist. So even if you're collecting all these other items, you've got to get to at least level 13 before you can even start this process. If however, you've been unlucky enough to reach this point without getting your morphines, you can craft them. This requires a pile of meds, a noggin painkillers, and a disposable syringe as well. They will each take about one hour to craft. You can definitely collect the morphines that are required while you're collecting your Saluas, and generally this is how I progress. I normally have all my morphines before I even have my Saluas, but if you've had really, really incredible luck with Saluas or really, really bad luck with morphines, it's definitely worth taking your PMC runs or scav runs to reserve to try to complete this, and that is my personal recommendation. So... I personally use the white bishop building. That's just the fastest way I get in the raid, hit the white bishop building, and then quickly get out before all the scav players get in. If I go here on a scav, I try to hit as many of the med crates that are a little bit less visited, and then the areas that I mentioned earlier that are not as vi not as commonly visited by players as well, or uh, places that may get overlooked by a lot of people. Hopefully this video will help you more quickly collect your morphine injectors so that you can pro progress more efficiently through the wipe and have each of your collection quests ready once you reach them and not have to collect them once you get to them. In addition, when you get extras, they are worth a decent amount. So it's definitely worth collecting as many as you can and then selling those to the trader once you've reached the first four that you need to try to get you towards some of those first early game purchases that you want to make. If you enjoyed this video or if, it, if you found it helpful at all, I would greatly appreciate if you would drop a like on the video and let me know your favorite places to find the morphine injectors in Tarkov that you seem to get really, really lucky with every wipe. If you would like to see more content like this, I'd recommend hitting the subscribe button and also checking out my wipe hype playlist. This will be full of videos for items that you're looking for uh, near the day one of wipe or near the first few days of wipe. It'll also have your early wipe gun builds, some of your day one inventory management stuff, all that kind of stuff will be available there. So make sure you go check out that. With that being said, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.